fantastic leap shuttle, human. I'm the captain. Come on, give me a handshake. It's good to meet you. Guys, this is my new human assistant. These are basic obedient bots, or bobs for short. Bobs work in pairs and are always at my beck and call. They're not all named Bob, though. That would be confusing. This Bob is Dave, and that Bob is Randy. I suppose you would like to know what your first task is. Well, uh, we need someone with five fingers to wear those smart gloves and activate the hyperdrive. It's the only thing on this ship designed with a bit of a flaw. Ah, the fantastic leap. You'd never think that all of this was built hastily and to a crowd-funded budget. It really is impressive. Time, using the ship's warp core. Go on, Victoria. Show the human what you can do. Human, I am about to slow down time. Because you're wearing the smart gloves that are linked to my system, you'll be able to move around in real time while this occurs. Three, two, one. Go on, human. You can move around and grab things. You're doing great, human. By the way, don't tell the captain, but this ability of mine has been developed mainly to keep him safe. He tends to get himself into trouble. Let's speed time up again, shall we? My human assistant is unfazed by the time warping? Incredible! I wonder if that'll come in handy sometimes. Captain, now that we're all done introducing ourselves to the human, maybe you should start making your way to the bridge. Victoria's right. We should head to the bridge. Ah, here we are, human. The Premium Backers Welcome Hall. All Premium Backers get defrosted and gather here before they're assigned to their luxury cabins. Victoria, what's happening? Captain, I'm detecting a massive solar flare emitting from that star. The solar flare seems to have had an undesirable effect on the robot crew. My robot crew? Oh, no, this doesn't look good. Time stalling in three, two, one. Oh, 
Captain, that burst of radiation from the solar flare could have resulted in untold damage to the robot crew and the ship. Impossible. This ship and its crew will never let me down. I have my doubts, Captain. Maybe you and the human should investigate the passenger cabins to evaluate the damage. Okay, if only to prove to you how loyal my crew are to their captain. Ready, human? Go and select the passenger cabin from the navigation hologram, and we can get going. <gasps> Looks like Randy wants something. What's that, Randy? Pizza time? Human, why don't you look around and see if you can find a way of ordering a pizza? There must be a number somewhere. Here we are, human. One of the luxury cabins for the premium backers. Don't make a mess. Oh, hello. We don't need room service right now. Thank you. Whoa. Ha! Ah, missed me. Oh, no. Help me, human.
time stall ends in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Say nothing wrong here. Just a typical day in the cruise diner. I wonder what's on the menu. Captain, this is most irregular. Stall ends in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nothing unusual here, unless you mean Steve. Captain, security drones converging on your position. What's happening? Yo! Save me, human!
install ends in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Victoria, give me a status report. The human has performed well, so far. Yes, well done, human. Oh, wait, emergency. Multiple warnings in the navigation tower. Ready, human? Let's get to the navigation tower and see if we can fix the problem. What does Randy want now? Good, my trusty robot crew. Always here to help in the nick of time. Hey, hey it's Greg. You'll have it fixed in no time. Greg! Why? Catastrophic structural failure detected. Protect me, human! I'm about to be crushed! Install ends in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
Captain, the plasma has caused more damage than I originally estimated. The core's temperature is rising. We must activate the emergency shutdown procedure. I'm the only one who is qualified to handle this. See? Easy. Danger averted. Wow! That was close! Human, help! Captain, major structural damage has made significant parts of the ship to become impassable. The catastrophe in the navigation tower has caused the ship to drift off course, and we are heading perilously close to that star's gravitational pull. You and the human must get me to the bridge! I must steer the ship out of danger myself! The route to the bridge is blocked. Calculating an alternative way through now. Wait, got it. The cargo bay seems like our best option. Let's go! Human, are you ready? This place. 
Thanks. As already stated, this is your alternate route, the cargo bay. It's a bit messy, isn't it? Whoops! What is all this stuff anyway? These are the essential items our premium backers chose to transport to the new world. Why is that bit moving? That bit should not be moving. Should it be moving? Human, it's time for our stop time double act. Ready? So, what now, Victoria? Captain, the only thing left is to steer us all out of danger. You must get to the ship's bridge and take control before we head into the star. That shouldn't be a problem. I am an exceptional pilot, after all. And the human? The human has to activate the hyperdrive unit. Ready, human? Go and select the bridge from the navigation hologram and let's save the day. Wow! That really is a big star, and it's very close! Maybe you should stop admiring the view and take the controls to advert the destruction of the ship? Yes! You're right! To the rescue! Wait! What's happening? Oh no. What now? This is mutiny! Quick, human. Save this ship. Thank <laughs> you. 
Time stall ends in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That was close! Now, human, time to activate the hyperdrive unit and get to the new planet! Come on, human! Just one more thing to do! Captain, we have arrived at our destination, Terra Prime. It is quite beautiful. I knew I would get us all here in one piece. You did get some help though, Captain. In fact, I don't think this would have been a success without the human. Yes, you are right, Victoria. Well done, human. Maybe I could make a few calls and see about getting you a promotion. You know, Victoria, you are right. It is indeed beautiful. Victoria, let the cryogenic thawing start and wake the other humans. It's time for them to see their new home. <laughs> 